former governor Yesen Wike slamming PDP leaders in the state for declaring support for Governor Sim Fubra. Now, last week, PDP leaders Abiy Sekibo, Uche Sekundus, uh, Celestine Omehia, and Austin Okbara declared support for Fubra and called on President Bola Tinubu to caution Wike. Today, Wike had a few choice words for the Rivers PDP leaders, calling them political buccaneers and expired politicians. Yes, you heard that. We can say it was ironic that the same set of people who had refused to support Fubra before the 2023 polls now declare support for the same governor <laughs> after the poll. Right, we have a rise director of news and politics editor Somna Sambo joining us. Somna, it's been a while. <laughs> Good to see you yeah. back on Newsnight. <laughs> Where do we start from? From the top or the bottom? Okay, let's start with the peace that seems to have taken place uh, between the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, uh, George Akume, and the Governor of Benue State. Maybe we should even have an idea of what led to the, uh, yeah. you know, uh, situation in the first place, at Do least this space. Do we know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's as a result of the... And what exactly is it about? Is it the battle for the heart of Benue State, or are there more... Well, these are the outcomes <laughs> of uh, the sort of transactional politics we play in, within our polity. I mean, people sponsor candidates into power, and they expect a lot from them, not for the benefit of the people, but because, I mean, when there's a vehicle that's been carved out to use to sponsor a candidate, I mean, of course, the candidate has to deliver in terms of appointments, in terms of uh, disbursement of funds and all of that, contracts and all of that here and there. Uh, but the SGF, uh, I think with this, has uh, shown that he has a big heart, but I doubt if this will last because we had the same thing with Suswan, and uh, of course, you could see what happened with uh, Samuel Otomtu. Uh, they used the APC as a vehicle, got in, and then Otom had to, out of his own volition, now move to the PDP. I mean, fighting, because there's almost no one who has uh, had governors instituted. I mean, maybe apart from President Bola Tinubu now, like uh, uh, Akume, SGF Akume, because since he left power, almost every governor of Benue State has always Come. been put in there as a result of his effort. He has a huge political influence, and then, of course, uh, so some of those governors too uh, will be suffocated because the, uh, the commissioners have to, uh, before he appoints uh, the commissioner, he has to seek uh, Akume's, uh, you know, permission and contracts and all of that. I mean, so sometimes you have to suffocate, and when you're suffocating, I mean, you're asphyxiating. You need to breathe. You look for, uh, you so, for but well, uh, he's a reverend father, Governor Elia is a reverend father. We don't know how much prayers he has prayed to God <laughs> uh, to help in in this new journey. But if, yeah. as a reverend father, it's finding it very difficult to actually breathe under Akume's stranglehold of uh, Benue State, then it can tell you how much crisis there is in that state. And we wish them very well, but yeah. governance must not take the back step. That's it. Because sometimes what we've discovered is that when a godfather and a godson are uh, sort of having political squabbles, the state tends to so develop so. more under such a situation. Oh. Uh, I oh. mean, yeah, I mean, okay. unlike when you say peace, because I mean, the governor right. would have to be paying lots of bills uh, to the godfather to the detriment of the state. But mm. when they are fighting, uh, coincidentally, it's, uh, the state develop, develops more. And it's do, I hope you don't tales. scare the people of Benue with yeah, this. Yeah, but, but these are the realities, I mean, in our polity, not just in right. Benue state. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. because any time there is peace between a godfather and a godson, I can tell you that it's the state that suffers. But we oh. are praying for them. Maybe their own case may be different. Hopefully. Okay, now, <laughs> let's jump into Rivers and uh, before, you, you know, one would have thought that the elders of Rivers, they had met, I remember them, mm -hmm. we had them on news uh, uh, night, and it doesn't seem to have worked. Uh, the, the battle is going deeper and deeper. Is there any sense that now that the same supporters of the governor uh, might, uh, at the end of the day, be moving away from the PDP, and mm. jump and shift into the APC ultimately, and that may just uh, take the the shine off uh, yes and Wike. But help us make sense of what is happening because he doesn't seem to like that the same people are now back in the governor. Mm. Yeah, I mean, um, let me just start uh, my opening statement to say that there's a um, latter part of the statement made by yes and Wike with uh, 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 earlier today that I actually stand with, and that's the fact that look. 
all these people, Celestia Omehia, all of them and all of that, I mean, never supported Governor Fubara at the, at the beginning mm. because they thought it was an imposition, a godson being brought in by uh, Governor Nyeson Wiki then. And uh, I mean, Nyeson Wiki was right. These people never supported uh, uh, Fubara because at some point in time, uh, there were threats here and there using EFCC to want to, you know, just to want to scare him out. Uh, and then even Wiki too had said that, look, he had wanted uh, Chinda, Kingsley Chinda, the House of Rep Minority mm, Leader, to yeah. want to be the governorship candidate then. But uh, because of certain things, he decided to settle on, on, on Fubara. And some of these PDP leaders didn't support him. So why are they coming to come and support him now? But of course, politics is very, very dynamic. You're to change your mind. Yes, and, and the, uh, the thing so is far, that, yes, some Wiki felt in his political, he wanted to execute, you know, using the State House of Assembly. Mm. And then, of course, uh, you know, the other statesman in the states uh, who he's now saying that shouldn't be at that title, uh, Governor Peter Odili, actually was called upon uh, by Felix Oboa, who was the PDP uh, uh, former, national, um, former state chairman, mm. to actually join in the confusion, I like to call it confusion mm. then, the attempt to actually remove a validly elected governor through a civilian coup that happened at the State House of Assembly mm -hmm. until the governor had to reply, you know, and then, of course, the State House of Assembly was burned down. Now, Odile said he wasn't going to be part of it. And when uh, Felix Oboa was dispatched to Odile, he made it very clear that he was going to call Wiki himself because he, can't, he would serve as a reconciliator mm -hmm. to reconcile both of them, but he wouldn't be a party to the removal of Fubara. And that is what right. angered Wiki up till now. So this move now to support of Fubara, does it get Fubara closer to holding the reins of power exactly. in River State? Yes, because the attempt to use the House of Assembly member seems to have uh, backfired. Mm -hmm. And uh, Wiki already knew that if he goes far beyond what is acceptable, all, all those House of Assembly members will be removed. So this peace pact, actually, Wiki was the one who enjoyed it more. And so in a nutshell, I want to say clearly here that just as I said in, in the Benue instance, yes. is when you have God's son and Godfather's <laughs> fighting, it, the tendency is for the state to actually develop. So you can see that Governor Fubara is under tension to deliver yeah. in terms of good governance and all of that, because if he doesn't perform very well, he will lose the people since Wiki is his Godfather and he's no longer with him. And then, of course, he has to, I mean, he has a right to actually fight for his political life. And then, Wiki too, also has a right to actually protect his investment. Now, the people who are in the center here are people who actually tend to move from left to right, right to left over time. Because uh, they seem to be moving with uh, former Governor Odili now. Many of them never believed in former Governor Odili immediately after he left power. I mean, uh, like Ooh. you heard Wiki saying today Politics. that... Uh, uh, former Governor Peter Odili was almost called the Emir of uh, Maitama because he was just ensconcing Maitama here in Abuja because he couldn't go out because some of these people couldn't even pay him a visit. But now they have all become political friends because they are all fighting against a common enemy. Well, well that's it's politics. Really yeah, quickly, yeah. 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 Quick, quickly here, there's, yeah. a, there's a man and that's the president. There's something I love about him. He doesn't like anyone being suffocated. Yeah. He says, let them breathe. breathe. Let them breathe. So and, uh, he stepped in to allow Fubara breathe. But as it were, it seemed that that mediation hasn't worked. Uh, do you mm -hmm. see any move again from the presidency on this? Now, the president was very smart about this, knowing that you cannot fight a sitting governor who also enjoys immunity just like you do. So that's why you could see there was a win-win. And he knows that the fall guy eventually will be Nyesom Wike. Because, I mean, Nyesom Wike cannot withstand the powers of a sitting governor. And so th that was why Wike's attempt was to get back by simply impeaching the governor. That's the mm. highest that he can do yeah. to retain his power. But in all of this, the political dynamics that I've shown right here is that if Fubara knows how to play his game very well, mm. having all the stakeholders by his side, Number one, there's no need for him to defect to the APC, as people have thought that okay. maybe because of Tinubu's influence. Yeah, because I was going to yeah, ask, is I mean, PDP <laughs> going to get stronger? Yeah, yeah, with, with what we've oh, seen now, right. PDP is, uh, you know, going to be much more stronger. And the attempt by Nyesom Wiki to make APC stronger in River State mm. is falling flat on the face. So the president, President Bola Tinubu, has to renegotiate 2027 with the right man. And of mm. course, you and I know who the, who right, the right man, man is. is. Yeah, I mean, in this Likely political instance, for now. For for now. now. 
<laughs> except if things change. But I can tell you, President Tinubu is very smart. He knows what executive powers mean. Right. And he knows what a ministerial power is all about, too. And he holds the ease when it comes to the ministerial power. Can but can he again. control a sitting governor? It's another well, matter. Some of us should do this weekly, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, political analysis mm. on Newsnight. And many thanks, as always, for coming on Newsnight. Thank you.